Hello, right so last week I did a video where I drew the Huldra from Norse mythology which was a response to a poll. Following that video I put up another poll which was Greek mythology, it was sh slash gods, it was should I draw Basset, the goddess of cats and fertility, or Anubis. And Anubis won that poll, so here's a little information about Anubis. Anubis, also called Anpu, spelt A-N-P-U, ancient Egyptian god of the dead, represented by a jackal or the figure of a man with the head of a jackal. In the early dynastic period of the Old Kingdom, he enjoyed a prominent, though not exclusive, position as lord of the dead but he was later overshadowed by Os Osiris Osiris um, o -R -O -S -I -R -I -S. I'll put it on the screen so that's him so he's got to look half man half jackal and he often I think he's usually depicted with either a staff or with um, weighing scales so let's get on with the video then Right, so I use this thing called Art Pose, which you can pose like a mannequin almost to see how you want the like body or form to be. So I did that and then I quickly sketched that out and then added the Jekyll-like features into the face. I decided he looked a bit too friendly and when putting in the line work tried to make him look a bit creepier and scarier. I feel that like he had to look a bit sinister due to being god of the dead and all that. <laughs> I'm not sure what I think about the face. I made his jaw a lot smaller and a lot thinner to make him look a bit more dishevelled and almost twisted in some respects. Tried to make it look wrinkly as well. I didn't want to go for the obvious Egyptian head um, headdress thing so I kind of just left him to be really wrinkly and stuff I didn't I didn't really know what to do with the body whether to put jewelry on it or to leave it blank you can see here I so far decided to leave it blank <laughs> and it looks a bit odd I also added the weighing scales in behind him to make it clear who he was and to make sure it was clear that he wasn't just half man, half dog. <laughs> I then added gold or bronze paint. I wanted to add gold paint but I ran out. So I did bronze paint to give him some jewellery. I gave him a neck piece because I decided his body was too bare. and. Um, bracelets and I did a bit of bronze to the scales behind and his is it a skirt or is it a wrap I don't know but his little toga wrap skirt thing I added gold to that as well or bronze to that right so thank you for watching the video if you want to see the painting in full as always I will be posting that to my Facebook page which I will link below Furthermore, I've got another poll going on, which is Greek mythology. This is for next week's video, which is Phoenix or Minotaur. So if you want to have your say and have a vote there, you can find that on my Facebook page as well. The music used in this video is by Dave Sturt, who's very lovely and gave me permission to use it. I've linked him below as well if you want to visit his site or listen to some more of his music that will be there too. Thank you for watching, bye!